Hello and welcome to this video. Dominic88 is <clears throat> my opponent. Let's see what he's going to do against. Oops, I place my own line against uh, Petrov. And now we go to four knights. Okay, place bishop to b5. Against that, there are a couple of good options. Knight d4 is a theoretically. Um, yeah. I cannot say most respected move. Others are also well respected, but knight d4 is what most professional players play. But this is a lot of theory, and oftentimes um, you need to remember tons of stuff, and at the end you don't even have a uh, have a great position. Okay, so I mean you have a good position, but it's just like uh, the amount of things to learn is uh, tremendous. Okay, um, this is a bit odd. <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> Taking only five is usually a bad idea. The reason is that after now knight f3, I have bishop to g4. And this is a really awkward pin. Yeah, well, here I've got b5, right? Not sure what this was all about. Hmm. Okay, so what do I take here? The knight or the or the bishop? Yeah, probably. Hmm. It's not so easy to say. I take it. Knight takes a four. He's got two pawns. It probably doesn't hurt to be precise about that. Mm. Uh, take it, knight takes. My bishop is a little bit. I can go to b6. Yeah, it's tough to say. Couldn't really come to a clear. Um, conclusion there. Um, I want to go back though. Maybe bishop e3 was his idea. No. Okay, I'm going here trying to break that pin. Probably I will take. Okay. Well, I see if I take with the queen, I'm losing a third pawn. Yeah, don't want to do that. Now he will probably put his try to put his knight into e three, then go to um, f five. But I'm quick enough and have the control there over f five. So nothing much happens. Rook e8, e6, g6. That would be nice. So let's go here. I could have taken a2 actually. Yeah. Okay, it's not a big deal. I think getting this rook into the game and um, maybe even getting an initiative there on the g file will be useful. Okay, I can also just take now and play, like, say, queen to f6. Yeah, or queen to e7, huh? why not? Okay, um, d5. Let's use this pressure here. Don't really see anything great for him. Maybe knight g4 is an idea. Hmm. It's maybe relatively best. Yeah, knight g4. I cannot take twice then on e4 due to, to the knight jumps. Like he has this and this idea once the f file is opened.
Mm. On H five, maybe he can play. Yeah, let's see what he does. Okay. So rookie three is going to go d six, or doesn't really feel all that dangerous. No, it takes them. So I'm two pieces up. I'm a little bit weak on the back rank, so something to keep in mind. Okay, um, queen e3 now, he's got rook d8 at the end, so shouldn't do that. Okay. Let's push this back. I can check on c5 and then play queen to e3. That should. Oh, then queen queen f6. Okay. Okay, let's just cover this thing on h6. It's it's okay. It's two pieces. I mean. Hmm. Yeah, no, nothing, nothing fancy. <laughs> nothing fancy, just queen e3 is good. Okay, it isn't any th check there on g3, yeah? But that's the only one. Increment chess. Um, <laughs> I'm not quite sure what. Okay. So, um, yeah, it was a really odd, really odd way of playing. Um, after knight d4, um, yeah, knight takes e5 is just not a good move. White should um, probably take on d4 or play maybe bishop c4. Even, but after this, you, you sometimes have to reckon with moves like d5. I don't think it works here. Like, this is probably not enough. I can always play d6 or uh, something like that. This is just um, going to be about equal. Yeah, that's not a good move simply. Um, okay, I went c6. I was actually thinking that maybe that wasn't most precise uh, because um, if I start d6, I should probably start like this here. Knight f4, f3 and bishop g4. Um, because if he would have played the normal move bishop c4 and then d6, he might have stuff uh, like knight f7. Yeah, even knight a4 seems to be a possibility. So my move um, c6 was probably um, not the right move order. Yeah, this is it's probably better yeah, to start like that. Okay, I went c6, but he went to a4, now d6. Yeah, knight c4 is just a blunder, but uh, the position after knight f3, bishop g4 is also not much fun. The problem is, if you look at something like this, bishop e3, white is um, 
in trouble, uh, knight h5, I guess. Yeah, or b5, knight h5. Yeah. Um, it's just very uncomfortable. The black king, uh, queen is coming, and you sometimes have ideas to switch play into the dark squares, even d5, bishop d6 ideas, like here. I'm not sure if you want to play b5, it's tough to say. Yeah, hard to say. Uh, okay, here, let's, let's do this. And now uh, an idea can be to play like d5 takes bishop d6 and then go on to h2. As you see, the engine gives black a slight advantage. Um, yeah, it's tough to say uh, to, uh, what a slight advantage in this position means, but definitely um, I've got a couple of, um, I've got a good initiative going on. Yeah, after knight c4, I'm just winning a piece. Yeah, bishop e3 seems to be better. It's a piece still, whatever. Take and um, the engine gives a couple of in inaccuracies, but I not, don't think it matters all that much. Here d5 was better. Yeah, maybe, but I'm just a piece up. F3, yeah, maybe. But as long as I keep a fairly clear advantage, I'm I'm okay here with my play. Yeah, e takes d5, um, yeah, just gives away a piece. I was thinking knight g4 is maybe the toughest um, try. And I was considering if h5 is a move, because the only, um, I can take on d5, huh. Because I was seeing that this is like, it, it leads nowhere, yeah? you can do this, but I just take it and it doesn't really lead to anything. Like the queen takes, I can move the rook various ways, probably to g6. I probably would have played h5. I didn't really take that into account, but it's still good. Like here, probably rook to e2. It's still a piece. It's got two pawns, but it's a piece. Um, yeah, and here there's really not much going on. The engine gives a couple of question marks, but Again, black is so completely winning, you can play many things. It gives a million of inaccuracies. <laughs> but um, yeah, if you're minus six or minus five or minus four, it doesn't matter all that much. Thanks a lot for watching.